and the, the lineage in which we come from, you know. Uh, 15 children, at 15, uh, eight daughters and seven, and seven sons, and I'm the last boy in the family. Mm. I thank God for seven daughters mm -hmm. still living. But uh, I was thinking about Mom Bacola, and uh, back in the day in which she, you can imagine the difficulty in, in the day in which she came up. Now, I was born in 1950, and I was the next to the last child born from mom and dad. So much of their young, and I'm not going to be long, but much of their youth was over by the time I got there. Much of their energy had ran out by the time I got there. So they just couldn't keep up with me. Yes, they couldn't keep up with me. But they, uh, they imparted so much into me. The, the legacy that they left for me, uh, I pray that I can leave the legacy for my children and my grandchildren. Mom, for those that know Mom Popola, she was a proud woman. Now, she was proud, but not with vanity, not that type of pride. But uh, let me say, she, my mother was a teacher. Not in the educated sense of the word, but in everything that she did, she taught us. She taught us by precept and example. Now, mom was a very, she was a strong, silent type. But she was very, very proud of where she came from, her legacy. Mm -hmm. Now, mom was a, a day worker uh, back in Arkansas, so you can imagine. So. Back in that time, when the uh, uh, the employees would come and pick them up to take them to work, they would come in these big, long automobiles. And uh, they would have their employees, it would just be two, and she, they would drive in the front and they would have to sit in the back. Not like a chauffeur was in the back, but the sitting in the back was a sign of, you're not good enough to sit in the front. You see that? So mom would refuse to sit in the back. She would refuse. Mom said, if I have to sit in the back, I'm not going to work for you. Yeah. So she was, she was proud in that way. And uh, she was very proud of her heritage. She was proud of her native heritage. She would always think about her hair, how nice it was. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, just, she just was the type of woman that love the spirit of excellence. Mom loved excellence. And uh, if she, you didn't try to bring excellence to her, you know, she would just kind of let you know. She would kind of just let you know. She didn't look down on people, but she just expected us to rise to the occasion. 